Hey guys and welcome back, this is James and today we are going to be making this everyday carry minimalistic styled card holder. It's a very very simple little build and hopefully you can play along with me. Now I'm going to show you the template that I use, it's basically 10 centimeters by 15 and it's got a nice curve on the top and you can feel free to just copy this really and help yourselves to playing around with the design and making your own. Um, I've stuck it on some cardboard and this really helps me get the design I want every single time and duplicate it quite fast. Now you'll want to mark out two of these and you shall see why. Uh, first of all, of course, as I always do, I will basically um, take 1.2 millimeter veg tan leather for this and coat it with Neatsfoot oil. As a rule, I always coat my, uh, my leather before I start simply because it gives it uh, the extra oils that it might lack and makes sure that uh, everything is as supple and nourished as it needs to be really for the next bit. I'm using Pro Dye from Fibing's Oil Dye and this is basically what I use every single time and this is a, the, the simple technique that I use to dye my leather. There are many ways of doing it but this is how I did it for this one as I really wanted something nice and dark and black. The next step I'm doing is actually I find it's very interesting. It's basically just this is actually quite good um, shoe polish. As simple as that. And I find that this really helps, gives it a wonderful shine, a wonderful finish, uh, seals in those pores and really gives that leather the extra oomph, the punch that you need. And there are many, many things you might want to use on it uh, once you've dyed it, but this is what I do and I, I just find it really works very well. The reason I'm going for a black and red design here is very simple. The company I'm working for uh, has a black and red logo and this was the secret Santa gift that I made for one of my colleagues. Um, but yeah, of course you can make your own colors. Uh, I will show you later on in the video um, the, the, the card holders that I've been using for every single day now for the last 10 months I think or something like that and I absolutely love it. It's a very simple little thing but it's incredibly useful and uh, you'll see that in a second. First things first, I decided to, well, I didn't decide, but I always like to make sure my bottom edges are nice and straight and equal. Uh, then I go ahead and prepare the edges for the top because once it's been sewn up, uh, you won't really have access to this. So I'm going ahead with dyeing and burnishing using gum trag, tragacunt gum, gum or uh, just basically just burnish it the way you feel like it. This is what I do. Uh, if I'm feeling creative, I might give it more and more different burnishing coats. I will often finish it with some beeswax, which I'm doing right now, and go ahead and scrub it in very, very nicely. Um, the burnishing here, I find I, it works well. Obviously, this technique works better on uh, thicker leather, on thin leather. I always find it quite tough to get a good, decent burnish, but it does work well. Again, burnishing both sides and finishing them with some beeswax. As you can see, this is the preliminary fold and this will give you a good idea of the next few steps. Now, I have seen people sell similar things on uh, Instagram and on Etsy with just one sheet of uh, leather here and just fold it into and that, yeah, that definitely would work as a card holder and that would look, work fine. But I find that that's just a bit too simple for me and this is why I have two pieces and I assemble them in this sort of like a tulip fashion here and this gives me three pockets to work with, uh, inside pockets and two outer pockets. I then like to make sure that I find exactly where my, uh, my glue is going to go and uh, sorry about the, the head in the shot, I skive off some of the bottom area here and that second cut is much much neater than the first one. Simply because these are areas that I will be gluing up, so skiving means that the glue doesn't, uh, well, gets into the pores better. And secondly, uh, it's a very thick part of the wallet, so there's no point making it that thick. Um, and because this is the only thing I'm working on at the moment, I've got time, a few minutes, while the glue dries to enjoy coffee. Yes, that's milk coffee. Um, it was cold in the workshop, and I do like milk coffee. Uh, first set of punches go through and this is yeah, saddle stitching is great fun. I really enjoy it. I'm using some very simple red linen thread. It's it's nice stuff. It's not nothing uh, too fancy. I mean, I've got some very nice thread, but this is nice. It's just just good old linen thread. Uh, saddle stitch it through and give it a couple of back stitches at the bottom. Cut 
and then I will just use a bit of beeswax to make sure that the ends uh, that you can see there on the inside don't wiggle around all over the place. Second coat of uh, <laughs> yeah coffee as well. I do love my coffee. Second coat of glue goes down and once it's dried you can finish up here and press it all down. I then like to make sure that my edges are really nice and straight again. Now you could get away with just, just using sandpaper and making that edge nice and straight, but I tend to cut it first, then use sandpaper. This really ensures that I have an amazingly straight edge all around because I do have four layers here of leather. So this is the easiest I've found. So if you're gonna go this route, make sure you give yourself some extra leather. Just not, you don't really need much, just about a millimeter extra will be good for you. And you can cut this off and make sure you get a really nice straight edge. Once it's been burnished, mark down where your holes are going to go and go at it. Get that hammering done. I'm using um, a really nice set of pricking irons from Crimson Hides. Uh, I get quite a few comments about that and I have to say they are pretty darn amazing. For the first six months I was using the 10 $20 sets, you know, the basic stuff from Amazon, and it's great for starting off. I'm not going to say anything about that. Absolutely amazing to start off. Go for it. If you're getting into leather, there are some really amazing tools you can get very cheap off Amazon. But once you want some really great tools, then you start seeing the difference. And this was my first big purchase in terms of tooling. Uh, I went to Crimson Hides. They have the Crimson Irons, and I have to say they are absolutely stunning. Now, before showing you the end result, we're going to have a quick look at the wallet that I told you about, which I'm using every day. Well, it's not really a wallet, it's a card holder. Um, and as yeah, as I'm getting ready for this, this is this is the one of the shoe polishes I use a lot uh, in the shop. And uh, it, it's nice, it's not bad, it gives us a nice end shine, and this was just because it's an easy polish to find, Kiwi shoe polish. I mean, some people absolutely hate it, and it's of course it's not amazing stuff. But as it's simple to find, I like to have a few, and it's, it's cheap as well, I like to have a few of these lying around because they do uh, get used very quickly and they are very useful. And here we go. As promised, before showing you the final result, this is the one I've been using for the last uh, 10 months, I think. It was one of the very first basic ones. And you can see the bottom there. I did not skive the edges on the bottom, so the bottom's a bit thicker than I would want. And uh, it can hold maybe... 12 to 15 cards easily and they don't flop around and in this design I had give, given a small stitch on that back side there which is not needed necessarily but I did I went ahead and did that anyway um, and yeah as, as you can see it can really hold a lot of cards it's very versatile and because it's veg tan leather it's got a really nice patina going on it and I I've tried other card holders since I really have and I keep coming back to this I just love it so much it's so versatile so here we go. Enough said. Let's have a look at the final result. And yeah, it's a really nice little little decent card holder. I like the stitching there. That red on black is quite fabulous. It's not necessarily the colours that I would choose for myself, but uh, as they match the company logo, I'm actually quite happy with that uh, colour scheme. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I'd love to see or to hear about you guys trying out this pattern for yourself. Hopefully this has helped you guys and if you're looking to get into leather work, this is an amazingly simple little build you can have a, have a practice with and enjoy. So with that being said guys, thanks for watching and see you soon.